What's up, Centaurs and Man Child? Welcome to So Special, because you are so special. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this moment in time reading. Um, whenever you get this message, it's for you. It doesn't matter what month, what year. It could be 100 years from now. If you get it, it's for you, okay, because we do know planets rotate, okay? They rotate, so that means they come back in the same spots and places at certain times certain times of the year okay so we're gonna get going hope you all have had a great beginning for 2023 i actually was in a state of shock <laughs> shit i thought i was in 2024 i totally skipped 2023 okay so uh i hope it ain't got nothing to do with my mental oh yeah but before i begin you all got a song Okay, you all got a song that source sent through my spirit for you, and uh, it applies to somebody because you need to let it go. Keisha Cole with Missy Elliott, you need to get, you need to get it, you need to get if he don't wanna love you the right way. He ain't gonna. It ain't where he is. It's where he. It ain't where he's at is where he where he want to be. Oh, okay. I guess it's how they wrote it down here. Okay. Uh, I don't want your man because I got it like that. But it ain't even got to be like that. <laughs> your man, he be calling me back. He says I'm fine and a matter of fact. <laughs> he asks how I do that, that. Dip a G's over baby fat. Listen, I don't know the type of tricks he playing, but I should warn you, I don't want your man. I understand why you want to try. Make him stay home late at night. But if you want to go, he'll be gone. No lie. I can't explain how many times I tried, how many times I cried. Think about mine and where he might be. Remember when I gave everything I've got? Couldn't get deep down inside how you love someone who didn't love me. But now I get if he don't want to love you the right way, he ain't going to. It ain't where he's at, it's where he, where he want to be. <laughs> if he ain't going to love you the way he should, then let it go. If he ain't going to treat you the way he should, then let it go. If he ain't going to love you the way he should, then let it go. If he ain't going to treat you the way he should, then let it go. Okay? When this song came on in the club, they're going to be like, damn, that's hot. And when they play it in the car, they're going to drop the top like, damn, that's hot. Okay? They're going to mix with Biggie. It's all a dream. Like, damn, that's hot. Me and Keisha won't stop till the tick don't top. Like, damn, that's hot. Now, understand why I take my time. Because you come with alibis. Trying to get me to see that's where you trying to be. But I don't want your man. Your man's been calling me. Trying to get me to see that he wants me to be with him. But he ain't the one for me. Okay, so it's some robbery going on with some man. And y'all can look it up yourself. But that's the song that came to me for you at this time. So that's going on. Something's going on with your man. That's ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay, I don't want your man. Okay. And you take it out on the right one, don't they? <laughs> I don't know if that's you or vice versa. You know, maybe somebody telling you they don't want your man. I don't know. Maybe you telling them. I don't know. You know, but we're going to see how it plays out. If it comes out in this message. So definitely your telepathic song. You have periodic table. And look underneath that booty leashes. Okay, so maybe y'all been at the table about this issue several times. You got bootylicious. I don't want your man. Somebody think somebody is bootylicious. Okay, 
let's get us a couple of questions about things. These are things you may hear that may be that make you think. Um, could be open ended questions, okay? Um, things you can't believe that people are saying. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna see things that you may be thinking. I don't know. Things that will be launched at the 2025 Apple Press Conference. Now, I don't know why that's important, but you never know who's listening. I don't even know about an Apple Press Conference. It must be about the Apple devices. I guess they would have uh, conferences, wouldn't they? Things that will be launched at the 2025 Apple Press Conference. Yeah, because you know, Sagittarius, they have expensive taste. This may be very important to you. Okay, it may have some connection with this periodic table. Okay, and that doesn't necessarily mean the um, the um, scientific periodic table. It can mean some table that you sit at periodically. Okay, let's see what the other question is. Things you want to do before the night is over. That card just keeps coming out. All of these, you see the stack? And that card just keeps coming out for my reading. Things you want to do before the night is over. Let's get you some um, planetary lineups. Just tell me, give you three lineups. Okay. You have four of Mars. Okay. You have the three of Earth. And you have the two of Venus. So 432 is your number. I will. Uh, Refer that as your planetary or angel numbers for this moment in time. This is a moment in time reading. Okay, it never expires. It's a moment in time. Okay, it's a change here. Hopefully it's a change for the better. Maybe you're sitting at the table periodically and going over your finances, going over your plans, you know, taking a look at things. Cause there's definitely a lot of love in these in these angelic energies and these numbers and the center of it is your earth and these are things that give you joy and pleasure and you know you all about exploration joy freedom pleasure and what you can afford you know and the sage says be as good to yourself as you can afford and i see that in the number three i see that it gives you a lot of joy you're trying to see what else you can add or expand in terms of your projects your artistic works your your small business whatever it, i'm getting plate as well Some of you, somebody's thinking about buying jewelry, you know. Now, this could be about love because we have the cosmic lovers here, but the, but the attention is about what's affordable, okay? About what you can afford, about what you want to buy, about how good you can be to yourself, how good you can be to each other, about whether or not this is, um, if this relationship, I'm getting the word cohesive financially cohesive can we benefit each other okay because there's a lot of heart and energy being poured out into whatever it is that you love to do whether it's sex making money hustling whatever it is it's here okay and i see in the end there is a loving partnership here there is commitment here um i feel like there has to be some boundaries you know a drone or and um um you know um guidelines you know like when i say rules guidelines in terms of a relationship or partnership is kind of like what we will what we expect from each other you know what what can you bring to the table mm, what can you bring to the table and what i can bring to the table okay or you yourself can bring to the table okay 432 that is your number now how is your mood during this time this moment in time Okay, if you have not supported the station, please do that. If you have not joined, do that as well. It's a great place 
to stop by and grab some info. Okay, you have the moon in Taurus, not shocked with this three of earths here. And you also have the moon in Pisces, okay? So this is how you'll be moving emotionally. You're definitely going to be thinking about your finances. That's priority. That's numero uno for you. And really, it's the perfect time to be focusing on finances and practical matters, okay? You need to sit at the table, write your shit down, your bills, what it is that you got to do, what it is that you want to do, okay? And see if you can be as good to yourself as you can afford. What can you afford, you know? Can you afford me? Because I don't want your man. Ha, 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 <laughs> I can take care of myself, okay, you feminine sages, okay? Moon in Pisces is your underlining external energy, and it says um, beware. Beware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies. This could be around money and love. You know? Did this negativity become... Did we are talking about Pisces, you know? Uh, Pisces has a strong element of sexuality um, connected to it, Okay? Them emotional waters can make you drown, you know, them deep sea feelings. Play with it. Okay, let's see what you should be learning or majoring in. I don't know if you need to do some self-study, if you need to go to school and study this, if you just, something's going on in your life that you need to take a look at and then study and get in depth with it. Um, maybe you're going back to school to get an undergraduate or a bachelor's or master's degree. I don't know, but these are the LOMs. These are my little pupils my little fishes okay when it's down like that you just you questioning yourself you know you're having that thought okay so this is my newest deck that i've made and it deals with learning or majoring in something okay lom loan so give me three cards source for sagittarius please or centaurs and man child can i get three cards what do they need to be learning or majoring in you have biology Okay, biology is the periodic table. You got juggle. Okay, she told me to take the box. This card keeps up. Oh, and accounting. Well, we're just talking about them numbers, then we're being as good as you can afford. You need to be keeping track of things. You need to learn how to manage your money. We was bringing that out, keeping up with uh, making it uh, being accountable, financially accountable. Okay. Uh, we also have biology. Some of you may be getting into medicine, you know, studying organisms. Maybe you're doing something clinical because you can learn that in like cosmetology courses as well. You know, dentistry, you're going to learn about living organisms. So biology may be something that you really need to um, be taking a look at. Something in, It could be something pertaining specifically to an organism. I don't know. Maybe there is a disorder or dis-ease somewhere in your body or someone you know or a child that draws interest. You also have juggle. So I don't know if people are really joining the circus anymore, but maybe you need to learn how to juggle more than one job, juggle more than one responsibility. Hell, I don't know, maybe you're juggling more than one relationship, but this is something you need to look into. You need to take a closer look. You need to be focusing. You know how people juggle their money, they move it around. Maybe you need to learn how to move it around so it works for you. But to juggle means to do, you know, more than one thing at one time. But you do it real smoothly. You know what I'm saying? It's real smooth. Like, you know, there's jugglers and circuses and stuff. You don't want nothing to fall, right? So let's get you a sight work. See how this plays. So I see a lot of green here, so we're dealing with health. She told me to say that earlier, green, green. So I see a lot of, could be some envy here, okay, money. You got the right colors. Behind and power. Behind and power. They need to put something behind you that would give you more power. We do have Venus here that represents a type of power here, okay? Um, or who's behind the power, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't know 
who's really um, masterminding things, you know, making making things happen, pushing things to happen. Some of you, you could be behind on your electricity. Uh-huh, behind. That's why this is juggling. You have to move some money around. You have to know how to budget, spend better. You have to know how to sit at this table and, and, and money manage. You've been indulging too much. That's why these cars are coming out. You've been indulging instead of taking care of your business. Now, you know, we got to do that. I know you want to live, you know, free. You can't be that free. You don't want to be free on the streets, right? And then again, maybe you do, you know. That's why I learned everybody out on the street homeless ain't there because they have to be. A lot of people choose to be there. They have more money than people working. Don't just think of somebody out on the streets that they don't have. They have checks. For them, it's a way to really be free. They're like dislocated from society. There ain't no rules. There ain't no law. Nobody telling them what to do. They just rather be out there. I get it. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull these seven cards for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising on the cusp source. What is your message for the Sagittarius for this moment in time? Sun, moon, rising on the cusp. You have the Queen of Swords. You have the Six of Swords. You have the Magician. You have Justice. A lot of swords. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. Your underlying energy is coming from the devil. I don't want your man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so let's do conflict and a challenge and supportive energies here. Okay, so this is definitely could be the person behind the power. Okay. Queen of Swords, don't play. She's straightforward. She's forthright. Um she invites you in. Maybe you won't need to have a discussion with them. Maybe this is somebody at uh, the utility company that you need to speak with. Okay. I'm getting bow out of this. Bow. Bow. Now, that could be a Taurus or a male. Any male of any sign. A bow. A bow. Maybe you're going to be discussing this other person. And we also can, gonna be discussing money. This person is a great advisor overall, okay? A great advisor. I see that some of you wanna move. You know what I'm saying? You may be talking to someone to help you to move or get out of a, a sticky situation. It's just too much stress and drama for you where you are, okay? You may be uh, asking to speak to this person, meeting with this person, because you're ready to move on. Or discussing where you can go, okay? Is it due to this drama about this man? Okay. Is it due to uh, money management? Okay, because uh, we have justice here. Now, I don't know if you've been to court, you know, because this can also represent an advocate, you know, an attorney of sorts, okay? I don't know if this... I don't know if this is going on... I don't know if this... Um, struggle with this masculine is causing problems where you live, you know, drama where you live, but there's definitely a decision being made. I don't know if it's from you, them, or the courts. See, because that's a decision that has to be made. Okay, a choice has to be made here. I don't know if it's you, if it's that man, whatever it is, but it's connected to you. This is the devil wants to hold on to everything. Okay. The devil is controlling. Okay. But this could also be the masculine trying to pull you into the drama. Because I tell women all the time when men want something, they could care less about a relationship. Okay. They could care less if it's your best friend or not. The woman has to be concerned about their relationship. Okay, you have to find out that there's something more valuable than the dick. Okay, because when it's gone, you have to realize that friend, that, that close relationship, it's gone too. Okay, so be careful about that. Be careful about that, feminines. 
But a decision is rightfully so is based on the facts. Okay. I don't know if it's money related, if it's relationship related, it could be both. Because here's the magician right here. And this is you. In my eyes, the magician is Sagittarius. Okay. For some of you, this is taking on a new job. This could be an interview. And this is taking on a new job based on finances. Also, it allows you to just be, you know, it's almost for some of you like a job is kind of like a hobby. Or just something to do. I don't, I don't feel like for some of you, you don't necessarily need the money. But the extra money will help, especially right now since you feel like you're a little in a bind or you're a little low. You know, you may have some goals here. We are dealing with the mentor here, the advisor here. And are you working to save to move? But you're definitely trying to get out of somewhere. And you definitely want to be gone, even if it's for the day. It's just, you know, too much going on to clear your head, you know, uh, to put you more in, in more positive spirits, you know, because you can't make up your mind about something okay you want to keep that spending habit but you know you can't afford it right now it's something you're doing Sagittarius let's get um some reasons for the ju justice and the um Seven of Swords. This is interesting to me. I gotta watch this clock because it's been cutting off. My timer's been cutting off. Top and bottom, please. Source for justice. It's definitely got to do with some information that you received. You know, and I don't know if it's a subpoena, if it's a um Evacuation notice. What is this? Justice. Justice. Sagittarius. King of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. Okay. Somebody got the truth. Somebody's been uh, advised. Some of you, this has something to do with some money investigation, looking into your finances. But you know what? Some, some again, somebody's this. This doesn't have to be a actual professional. The King of Swords could just be somebody that's just got a lot of knowledge and wisdom to go with what they know. And they giving you some advice about your money. Because the king of pentacles has money, but the king of pentacles is practical with his money. The king of pentacles does not like to be broke. But there are money issues here. For some of you, this is investments. For some of you, this King of Pentacles wants you to move. You know, he says all the right words. Okay? He says all the right things. He's buttering you up. You know, you may be, this could be about cohabitating. You're a little, <laughs> you want to you wanna hang with him and be with him, but you want to keep your own too. You don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what to do. Maybe you're trying to juggle both. Maybe there's a health issue with this as well. But for some of you, this is someone who's a go-between somebody you can, you know, he could be, this, this magician could very well be the king of pentacles because the king of pentacles can be helpful. The magician can be helpful as well, but the magician journey is looking for some pain. You know, they're looking for a, a return on the help, okay? I'm just not doing shit for free. You know, I'm not here to entertain you for free, okay? I'm, even people got to pay 
to go to the circus. You know what I'm saying? She's not going to be watching me juggle beer bottles for free. There's You got to pay. <laughs> so that's the a magician, the juggler. So you'll be juggling a lot of things at once, learning how to handle a lot of responsibility at one time, handling a lot of people at one time. You know, you may be juggling with your hours. But for some of you, there's a decision being made about you moving, moving on. You need to go. Is there something about your money that you was advised about, warned about, taught about, you know? Some of you paid for this information. And for some of you, you're moving on because you feel like you can make and reserve more money by moving away from where you are. I don't know if this is another city, state, a place. I don't know. But there is some type of uh, intervention here, a go-between. You, you may be hired as a go-between, okay? A contractor of sorts. You also think about how to keep something going. You know, you want to keep something going. You want it to last forever. Make it last forever. See, some of you are in your head while you're at work, too, thinking about this love relationship and what you want to make to last forever. But I don't want your man. <laughs> now, understand why I take my time, because you come with these alibis trying to get me to see that's where you're trying to be. But I don't want your man. Your man's been calling me. Okay, we did that one, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Now, here's a little lesson, little Kim. Don't stress them. Kick them all straight to the curb like Beckham. Broke them with my ex heel with her for now. But little do she know, she just a rebound. Calling my phone, she got her. She's so out of pocket. I've been there before, old oh girl. You need to stop it. When he's with you, he's wishing he it was me. You might be where he's at, but I'm where he want to be. Okay. So expect to do some intervention here after you take a long uh, look at some things. I'm going to step up and help you fix things, help you make right. Okay. I'm also getting a storefront here. This is definitely about moving on and taking your mind off your, off your troubles. That's the core energy of the core event here. Okay, moving on to greener pastures. You know, you're being led to do this too. It's just, that's why so much tension. You're being led to do this. And this devil is confusing or it's you. You know, when you're overly emotional about stuff. You know, that puts you in devil energy. Because it's hard to make a decision. Uh, I'm also hearing split the two. So I don't know if you, you or them are... This is you trying to split the two. So you're trying to split these two people up because you want them. And for others, you trying to see how it's conflicting because you're trying to see how to merge, how to make it a marriage. Okay, it doesn't have to be. It could be a legal marriage. Okay. Because for some of you, I'm hearing elope. Yeah, an elopement here. Okay, they feel like kind of feel like an elopement, like it's serious, you know. And sometimes I know people move in together, you know, because it's just better that we're together financially. Okay, and I see a whole plan here in the outcome, a whole plan or a big old offer is coming. Oh, they just changed cards. But this seems like a master plan, how we can work it, what all I can do. You may have to be submitting this to somebody. I don't know. She's pointing. It's something about 
this emblem, this star, these Masonic, like this Masonic star involved in your life for somebody, these Masons, these Masonic societies. This may be on the door. You may be putting this on your door. Maybe you joining these Masonic societies. I think for the women, they have um, Eastern Star. For others of you, this is a marital plan. I see this about elopement, but this could definitely be a marital plan. Because maybe it requires for you in order to um, move, we got to be married. You know what I'm saying? We got to be married. That's a good thing. Let's see what your contention, challenge, or conflict is. It's judgment. For some of you, it's making this call. You know, maybe you don't want to work. Uh, maybe this is a call for help for somebody. Get something about wet. You know, like you need to get your feet wet. Or maybe. Maybe they make you wet. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't want your name. <laughs> okay. So the contention is here. Is it's, it's got something to do with doing the mouth, you know. Um, and sometimes asking for help. Because everybody is not good at that. Asking for help, you know, it takes a lot for people, for some people to ask for help. Some people just come to easy or have a problem asking for nothing. But some people, they are just not good at asking for help, okay? For one, people don't like to be denied or rejected. It's contention. So whether or not you're making a good decision is, is, is a personal contention. You know, you don't want to make the wrong decision. But doing this math, you know, like I said, something about your lifestyle here. How you money, money management, how you managing your money, what you're doing with it. I feel like you're being kind of, um, Think of the word that I want to use. Frivolous. Frivolous. Because somebody's not paying a bill. And I don't know what the situation is, but I'm here you say, well, who, well, who can I talk to? Because this, this is somebody in charge, okay? I'm also hearing litigation, okay? So... For some of you, there is some legal issues here. But I feel like for some of you, somebody's going to step in and help you come up with a plan, you know. And things for somebody will work out once you submit your plan. Once you have a big, have a plan, a perfect plan, a good plan, a mature plan. Let's put it like that. One that makes sense, then you can have some somebody will intervene on your behalf. They will help you because that's what the magician comes to do. Okay. Now, what's going to be your supportive blessing energy is the four swords. Now, this could be an actual person. Okay. A militant minded person. A person who is, um, I see this as a spiritual person. Somebody who really knows how to take breaks. This could be you needing to take breaks, need to take time for prayer and meditation. This is how you get answers, okay? For some of you, this answer is going to come from watching TV, believe it or not. You're going to get some answers. It's like whatever they're doing, it's going to be, you're going to know what to do. You're going to get an answer. Maybe you're going to see yourself in that situation and get an answer. And that's why you're going to be able to come up with a plan, probably go to school, you know, get you, start you a practice of some sort, you know, 
if in the future, of course, but this, this, um, except, you know, reminiscing on the truth, on, on the truth. For some of you, it's the truth of God's word. Okay. We're talking about the Bible here. Um, that's going to help you some scripture in the Bible about money. Okay. I feel like that Piscean energy is going to lead you to that. Pisces is a very in-depth spiritual sign. It's also a sign known for sexuality. Okay. But I don't know why I'm getting military. This person could be a militant, like I said, been in the military. They have a lot of insight. Or maybe this is the person that you're moving in with that's going to intervene for you, for somebody. It's going to be your blessing energy. But there's, you're going to have to make um, a final decision or something. You're going to have to, this call, because this could definitely be somebody calling you regarding your bill. You know, it could be a health bill as well. We do have biology here. Something about somebody's health, okay? Could be physical health, mental health, I don't know. But we're dealing with biology. So you may need medicine, you know. For somebody, I don't know why I'm getting this, but I do see this. It's, it's dealing with the death. I don't know. Going to the other side. Okay. Maybe they left you something. In the wheel. But I feel like it's more like. Taking time. Maybe this will be unbeknownst to you. But you will get this answer. While you were chilling on the bed. Watching TV. Or you're going to be led. You know to read your Bible. It's going to be something that moves you. Where you're going to get an answer. And that's why you're going to be able to come up with that plan. Okay? That's how, why you're going to be able to get that help. Let's sum it up for this moment in time. For Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and on the cusp. If you have not supported the channel, this is a great time to do so. So go ahead and thumbs it up. And if you have not joined the station, please do so now. Why not? I mean, it doesn't cost anything. It's free. Okay, so we summon it up. We summon it up. Okay, some of you may have to go purchase some boots for work. Okay, you may have to go purchase you some boots for work. You have the cat. Okay, you have the cat. Summon it up with the cat. And you have um, the egg, the elbow, empty, extra elephant. Okay. Your underlining is the egg, but your reference words is egg, elbow, empty, extra elephant. You may be eating eggs for breakfast, or maybe you feel a little embarrassed. Um, elbow, you know, elbow to me deals with things that could be funny, you know, or not so, you know how to be like, that's funny. I, I just, I just, I just saw you do, I just, you know how people say, that's funny. I just heard that on the other day, you know. Empty, maybe you got empty pockets, okay? You need, you need to empty out your empty out your mind, empty your mind so, so that source can reveal things to you, okay? Maybe you get ready to empty your apartment or your home. Extra, you need extra income, okay? You need to do the math, all right? We got elephant here. And elephant, um, to me, deals with addressing issues, but you know, it's the elephant in the room. They need to address that issue, okay? Um, but okay, so yeah, it, it dropped. Okay. Cause this woman right here is wise. Okay. She can help you, um, decipher, make out the things that are weakening you. Okay. She can speak the right words to get you. She knows how to guide and lead. You know what I'm saying? And coach. Okay. Today, I will open my heart and listen with an open mind to new ideas and opportunities. You know what I'm saying? She may know something about the future. You may need to, you know, just
avoid the I don't want to attitude. Okay, Sagittarius? And I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much, Centaurs. And man, child, for tuning in to So Special because you are so special. And I can't wait to bring you another one whenever that is. But just um, stay, you know, tuned to YouTube and make sure your notifications is on. Whenever I upload a video, you'll know right away. And until the next time, take care of yourself.